everyone, so a lot of people were asking for another collection update video, which, um, as you can see, it's sort of the same thing, except for, uh, just, I've bought more stuff, obviously. It's only been six months since my last one, and I honestly didn't think a lot of people would be that interested in this, um, but I did get quite a few requests for it during my 300 subscribers video, um, uh, thing. So I'm going to give a quick one. It's not hopefully going to be as long as um, my last ones, but I think I'll just do, um, yeah, I'll just do one video rather than the, the two very long ones or three very long ones. Um, yeah, so, so this is where I keep majority of my collection, well, almost all of my collection, to be quite honest. Some of this stuff is my sister's, majority of it is mine. Um, we've been collecting for seven years now, so very long time. Uh, and, and I have been, like, really collecting for about five and a half of those years. So, yeah, a lot of growth over that period. Uh, behind this area is just typical what there was before, bed, down here, etc, etc, etc. None of that's changed, uh, and I'm sure none of you are that interested in that sort of stuff. Anyway, this is where I film all my videos, just as an aside. Um, and this paper here has everything that I buy in a month, so I remember, um, because it can get to be quite a lot. Um, or everything I receive within a month, not necessarily everything I buy within a month. But anyway, this is already two minutes longer than it should be, so I'm going to start over here, go down, and then just continue to do that. So at the top is Garn Lagen, the Ultimate Edition by Anime Limited, and Beck. So, yep, those two series. And then... Uh, beginning of my manga is Death Note Black Edition's Pluto, the first four volumes of Monster, uh, Flower of Life, and Antique Bakery. All of these are completed series, um, so I know how much space they're going to take up. Monster, obviously, not completely released yet, but uh, yeah, it, it will still fit in here once it is, because I know how much there's going to be. Next shelf is Fruits Basket Complete Series, Hero Tales, and Hikuru no Go. Um, yep, yeah, all again completed. This shelf has pretty much just completed series in there. So, yeah, be aware of that. Next is Full Metal Alchemist, the complete series. Again, both this and uh, Fruits Basket were released by Chiang Yi, so they have a bit of a different cover there. Uh, Chrono Crusade and Ghost Hunt 1 to 11 with the 12th Japanese volume up there and Ginkaku Picasso. These are all films, DVD and Blu ray. Uh, I'll just get a closer look at them there. It's a mixture between Australian releases, US releases, and Japanese releases with the a couple uh, UK releases in there as well. Next is Soul Eater and Soul Eater Not, the complete series, Mushishi, and the first two bilingual volumes of Chihai Furu. Chikyu Misaki, <clears throat> pardon me, a lovely complex with the fan book above there, uh, plus Anima, volumes 1 to 10, which is again complete, and Oran High School Host Club. 1 to 18, again a Changi release as you can see. This shelf has completed series that either um, don't fit anywhere else or haven't actually been completed by me. They're finished in Japan but uh, I haven't really caught up to buying them. That's 1 to 8 of Pandora Hearts, Yu Yu Hakusho 1 to 10. Although I do have the other volumes in my room. That's one of the larger pickups from this month. Uh, Bakuman, 1 to 20. And My Little Monster, 1 to 5. 
and way down in the corner we have uh, all my BL uh, stuff from June or Digital Manga Publishing, uh, which, yeah, there's quite a bit of that, as well as Sublime, which is the Viz um, publisher of BL. And there's a little, um, just the drawers, that's what I say. And this is where all the bits and bobs of figures go, so they're out of the way. Now in the thin one, the very top is the free imports. I mentioned them in a previous video. Uh, the entirety of free and then majority of free eternal summer um, is Japanese releases. Under that is Yato, one eighth. Under that is the first box of Hyoka from Japan. Under that is Frau and Aki. Uh, from Robotics Notes. Um, under that is manga, so there's Ancient Magus' Bride, Prophecy, and Arjun there. We have the Nendoroid of Prince Barker and the DVD set of Level E. And then we have Kotori 1 8th in the bottom here. This is the next large bookcase. At the top is the five omnibuy buses omnibuy uh, of Umaneko that we have. Under that is the beginning of my Blu-ray art box section. So all Funimation titles here. Um, I don't think there are any. They might be in alphabetical order. I don't know. I don't know. Under that is the next shelf of them, so there's uh, Funimation stuff, there's import stuff, there's uh, Anaplex stuff, and Australian stuff there, and that's a UK release at the end. And on the one under is Korean releases of uh, Ghost in the Shell, and Viz releases of Ranma, and uh, Kuroko and Almane from Kuroko's Basketball. Underneath that is just a display shelf. It has uh, a lot of Natsume stuff here. This was a broken box that I got from Right Stuff when I first bought it and then they sent me a replacement. So I have two. Uh, Natsume the 1 8th scale and this is my Mushishi Japanese manga that I bought when I was in Japan. Next is DVDs with a slipcase or kind of different packaging. There's a lot of Funimation stuff here. Count of Monte Cristo, Hell Girl, um, as you can see. And then this is some Sentai stuff. Kaiba, Tatami Galaxy, Welcome to Erebus Office, both seasons of Higurashi, and then Tiger and Bunny, the Blu-ray sets. Underneath that is in is Blu-rays. Uh, there's Barkano, the Anaplex release, Bubblegum Crisis, which is anime ego release, ego anime ego. I don't know. Uh, Full Metal Alchemist. I don't have the original series yet, but uh, planning to get them. And then a lot of Sentai and um, Sentai releases and a couple anime works releases as well. Uh, that's Little Witch Academia, and he, these are our shine releases at the end here. Then on the next shelf is just normal keep case DVD sets. Um, it, these are in alpha, uh, alphabetical order. So Air, Bakuman, Big Wind Up, Black Cat, La Shove, Shahai Furu, both seasons, Deno Coil, I think that's the Full Metal Alchemist OVAs, Ghost in the Shell, Ghost Stories, Hakaba Kitoro, uh, Season 2 and 3 of Hell Girl, Kaido Mao, Canon Kurnai, A Lovely Complex, uh, both seasons of Haruhi, Samurai Horror Tales, that's Goblin Cat and uh, Mononoke, the spin-off series, Nichijo, Night Raid, Nodame, Paranoia Agent, Special A, Subasa. The Wallflower and Welcome to the NHK, and the uh, Dorara lunchbox that originally came with the Blu-ray. 
And next is NIS releases. There's these aren't NIS releases. This is from the Free Illustrated Works. There are a couple discs in there. This is uh, Nunnally in Wonderland. Then Anahana, Arakawa, Under the Bridge, Season 1 and 2. Bunny Drop, Daily Hot Lives of High School Boys. Uh, Katana Gatari. Kimi ni Toroke, uh, Natsume, see, All Four Seasons. Umineko, uh, Little Witch Academia. Uh, Black Rock Shooter. Then this is my Kino's Journey uh, art book and a Danburo. Then starting from the top again, these are all collections of like openings and endings of various uh, anime. We have both seasons of Full Metal Alchemist, Space Brothers. Those are the No Tamane Fan Best, uh, Soul Eater, and Natsume. Underneath is pretty much all the music from Hunter Hunter. There's Galileo Galilei, the single from the Anohana movie. Um, this is Your Lion April's soundtrack and the complete best of Skit Dance. Underneath that is uh, Dangan, Super Dangan Rampa 2 character. Um, Maeda. I was thinking Koenma for a second. I've been reading Yu Yu Hakusho, obviously. My brain is in a different place. Um, Evelyn Can from the Kickstarter, and that's actually a little antique pot thing that I got from my grandmother. Underneath that is free stuff. These are the opening singles for uh, the two seasons, and this is the character songs for the first season. Below that is the duet singles and the character singles for season two. Uh, this is uh, like little, little emo, little like characters for your computer. So you just download it. It's just and I think there's also a drama CD in there. Uh, splash free. This is the endings. Splash free and future fish. Underneath that are robotics notes. Nendoroids. Now from this you'd think that we love Robotics Notes, and whilst we do, I, I, at least, we both actually really enjoyed the series, it's not one of our favourite. We just happen to have a lot of figures of uh, the two main girls. Underneath that, this is the Japanese release of Garden of Sinners Recalled Out Summer. And underneath that is a bunch of soundtracks. Um, or opening song to Attack on Titan, as you can see, soundtrack to Talia, Axis Powers, I believe, Sailor Moon, uh, second Haikyuu, one, this is Mushishi one, Shokuma, Cafe, uh, openings and endings, the two free soundtracks, um, and then these are the three soundtracks to Full Metal Alchemist. Uh, 2004 and The Brotherhood, one of the openings of Blue Exorcist, and then the complete best songs, whatever, openings and endings of Higurashi, the two seasons, and down the very bottom is Chahaya in a little frame there. In the glass case is all figures, as you probably could tell. Up the top is... Obviously, Puella Maji Madoka Magika, um, one tenth Marakami, and then the Kupachos of the girls, uh, one eighth scales of Revolutionary Girl Utena, uh, Solider Maka, and Frau again from uh, Robotics Knights. Under that are the little Nendo Petis of uh, Bakamonogatari, which are seen to be replaced by Kiss Shot. 1 eighth, and then we have the 1 eighth of Shinobu. Under that are the 1 eighth Free Boys, and there's a little Haru prize figure in there, just until I have a spot for him somewhere else. Underneath that are, well, three of the protagonists of Yu Hakusho. No, um, Kuwabara, he's so expensive now, and we were very, very lucky to find a um, Yusuke, so, you know. 
shoots and roundabouts with that one. <laughs> um, underneath that is three of the four Kotobukiya uh, Kurashutsuji releases. And down the bottom, it's just a mix of stuff. There's my Death Note, etc. art book. Um, a little Nendroid. I uh, can't remember her name. She's the main character from Moshidora, which is a baseball uh, show. Kino, a little baby tiny Kino with a motorcycle. Little tiny baby uh, Menma. And Kisei, one eighth. So that's the entirety of that uh, thing <laughs> there. Now the very top has Shinji and Kaoru and the first three Omnibai of Neon Genesis Evangelion manga. Underneath has 1 to 7 of Bride's Story, the first two Omnibai of Emma, and the first, well, the first 1 and two, 3 of Jojo, my sister is reading 2 at the moment. 1, 2, 3 is in the other room, and 6 of Vinland Saga, Bunny Drop Volume 1, our school charisma, Jormungand, only missing two, six, uh, ten, and eleven, and love at fourteen. Next are DVD uh, box set thing sized releases: Dance the Vampire Bun, bleh, Bund, uh, Darker Than Black, Fruits Basket, Gunslinger Girl, which has all three seasons in there, Kino's Journey, oh, Spice and Wolf Kino's Journey. Neon Genesis Evangelion and the movies, Razaphon, uh, the three, the three original, or the two seasons in the OVA of Genshiken, Genshiken second season, which is the follow-up, uh, Eccentric Family, Antique Bakery, Emma, both seasons, and Utena. Below is Monster, The Rose of Versailles, Sound of the Sky, Last Exile, uh, Library Wars, Rings of, what are the Wings of Revolution, and the first season of Mushishi. And in here is, well, she's Alice from Alice in Wonderland, but also from Mahjong Game. And the three main characters from uh, Kwasei in a Foreign Labyrinth, I believe. Underneath is Kotori 1 7th scale, and all of my little uh, Miku Nendos as well as Sailor Moon manga box sets. Next shelf has Wandering Sun uh, and a bunch of one-shot or single-volume releases from various publishers and some of my very small Fullmetal Alchemist little figures. They're some sort of prize figure when the most recent film came out. Now just quickly, these are a lot of comic sorts of things that I have. Um, and then Undertaker 1-8 scale with, as you can see, two of the uh, Black Butler art boxes from when it was first released on uh, DVD. Uh, yeah, it, as you can t or maybe not, both my sister and I had a set and now um, since I upgraded to Blu-ray I've just, you know, uh, we have the boxes free uh, underneath that is art books, and there's a couple fan books here, like the Pash, uh, what well, yeah, Pash for Ofori, and Hell Girl. This is Starry Sky, art book volume one, free illustration works. This is the box for volume two, but it has both volumes in there. Soul Eater one and two, uh, Black, which has Black Arc Shooter and Steins Gate in there, uh, Tagami Bachi, Pandora Hearts one and two. Arietti, this is I think my only English language art book that I have. Mushishi, um, Durara, I believe. Whoop! Don't fall the other way. And this is Yozakure Quartet by the same author. Spice and Wolf, Full Metal Alchemist 1, 2, and 3. Italia, um, this is a art magazine. And uh, the Shiki fan book, Book Girl fan book. Bakano, uh, this is Anime News Network, or uh, Anime News Nina um, collection with one of the dust covers on there. Uh, these are pamphlets from films, the Hunter Hunter first film and uh, Blue Exorcist film. 
uh, one and two of Black Butler art books, Rohan at the Louvre, and a bunch of other little things here. Oh, yeah, that's um, key artwork or key frames from Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood, Time of Eve, official fan book, and Right Stuff's Teeny Tiny uh, Sweet Blue Flowers art book. I'm hoping to get um, Shimura's actual art book soon. Let's hope so. Uh, and then, yeah, we have Haiki Nendoroids there, and also free little rubber strap thing back there. I have a lot of stuff and not much place to put it, so apologies if there is some overcrowding. And you're like, mm. but I mean, you gotta do what you gotta do. And final bookshelf, we have Oku one to ten, Gangster one to six, Talia one to six. What did you eat yesterday? One to five, Bride of the Water God one to twelve, and Black Lagoon one to six, Blue Exorcist one to thirteen. Uh, same thing with Black Butler. Noragami 1 to 8, and then the omnibus, the first omnibus of Kurosagi Corpse Delivery Service. Underneath that is Hunter Hunter Collection. There's Volume 0 at the top, the Huncyclopedia DVD that I got in Japan, and then 1 to 32, and uh, Gone and Killua there in 1 8 scale. Underneath it we have a little cat I got from a really kind. Uh, person when I visited Tokyo, uh, Tokyo got the Tokyo government building. Uh, you know, in January, February, when I was visiting there, this is a Chahai Furu Blu ray box. It actually has volume one and nine in there. Book Girl as a little Nendroid. Um, yeah, Hi Q, uh, Hinata is right there, and then uh, Ghibli. Blu-rays. Not all of them, obviously, but uh, most of our favourite ones. Hopefully we're going to get more, but uh, none in the near future. None that have been planned or anything. Um, next is light novels. Hope, uh, hopefully I'm getting a new bookcase in my bedroom, so these will move there. Um, Kaylee 1 to 6. I still have seven. I uh, haven't finished reading, uh, just like last time. I have. It's been a long time. I need to root start from the beginning and get back to it. Attack on Titan, uh, Volume One: Before the Fall. Time of Eve, another act. Book Girl, one to six. Yeah, one to six. <laughs> um, the Devil is a part timer. One to ten of Harry Sizemia, and one to fifteen of Spice and Wolf, and a tiny little hollow there. Underneath is Natsume's Book of Friends 1 to 18, uh, and Kimini Torake 1 to 21, a little bit behind on that one, and Onyanko Sensei there. Ugh. Getting lower and lower. <laughs> um, Attack on Titan Before the Fall, two volumes, the entire series of No Regrets, and then 1 to 15 of Attack on Titan. Uh, Brave Story, which is a novel, and then Figmas of the three main characters in Attack on Titan. And then a bunch of Volume 1s, Kiss Him Not Me, Horomiya, and Monthly Girls, Nozaki-kun. And down the very bottom is Magi, Magi, whatever, 1 to 9, Heroic Legend of Arsalan, 1 and 2, and then Higurashi, first ten volumes, it's five question arcs. I believe that's the entirety of the question arcs there. Uh, we've got more free little rubber straps. And the first volume of Vagabond. And finally, these are things I'm trying to finish watching or trying to sell. Um, neither uh, is any sort of order, or they're just stuff that don't really fit on the shelf at the moment. Um, yeah, uh, like assassination classroom I'm trying to sell, but majority of the rest of the stuff in this uh I think I'm going to keep except for maybe Sailor Moon, I don't know. And yeah. So luckily that was a lot quicker of a video than my last couple, uh in last collection videos I should say. 
not actual videos because my well, most recent video was like twice this length but uh, yeah so that's pretty much everything those are all the shelves as you can see there's five, uh, four large shelves they're Billy bookcases from Ikea and there's two of the very skinny CD tower ones and one of the half size ones um, we put this set up uh, together about I want to say two years ago almost um yeah so it's but it hasn't been this full uh, ever since obviously that I've bought a lot in the last couple years um, mostly manga but anime as well and the great thing about Bo Ugh, Billy is that it is adjustable shelving so you can kind of mix and match and make things as tight or as large a shelf as you need and yeah I really recommend them although uh, you got to be careful with how you put them together and all that because some people do find that they have sagging shelves after a while. I haven't really seen that pro uh, problem and I have a lot of weight on there as you can see but I do keep my larger heavier stuff at the bottom rather than you know have it mid shelf or any of that. Just be smart with how you balance things if you are thinking about using this system for your collection. And yeah, everything should be fine. No messy uh, smashing of things onto other things. And uh, as I said last time, it seems like a lot. Um, and it is, I'm not saying it isn't a lot, but uh, you do see some people's collections where they have like four large bookcases of just anime or, you know, five large bookcases of manga. And this is like everything. So it, it is a lot, but it is a combination of things and I I say that to myself to make me feel better about buying so much um, but yeah it is it is a lot but it's happened over a very long time and it's it's continually growing but there are things that change I do sometimes sell series I do uh, mix it up this setup of the shelf shelving uh, where what is in which place has changed since this last video. So it's an ongoing pro uh, project, kind of. But thank you all for watching. I don't want this to be over a half hour. So I appreciate uh, you all, you all, you all, um, watching and listening and uh, asking for this because I wouldn't have ever done one if you hadn't requested it. So thank you guys. Uh, again, thank you all my subscribers who have joined me since even my last video, which was my 300 plus subscribers video. Um, it's, it's huge. Thank you so much. Um, and all, all of you subscribers who have just really supported me in the last six months. I never expected that. And it's just been huge. I mean, I'm just a person making videos on the internet of stuff that I, in my opinion, I don't know how many people would find it that interesting. But obviously, about 300 of you do, so that's always a plus um, for me. But yes, thank you. It is quite early in the day, but it's getting hotter, so I'm going to uh, turn on the air conditioning and stop this video. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. See you in the next one. Bye.